on YouTube. If you clicked on a video, I already know why you're here. It's Sonny, and this is my first video. And today we're going to be learning how to pass the ass back. Hassani, Hassani, he worked, you sweat, he worked, you sweat, he worked, you sweat. And you're back. So, first off, this is my first video, so welcome to the channel. Um, this channel is going to consist of a lot of a lot of military content, of course, going on the journey with that. Also, we're going to be doing a whole lot of different lifestyle challenges, all, all that stuff. So, you know, just stay tuned for that. But for now, we're going to be learning how to pass the whip, the ass bound. Yes, sir. So first, I'm going to just tell y'all, it was a long time for me to pass this ass bound. It took me three tries. Not one, not two, but three tries. Oh my God. <laughs> I can go on and on about how I studied day and night for this test and it was just that difficult for me to pass so I'm going to be showing y'all I'm sharing with y'all how I passed it personally so first attempt I was back in my sophomore year of college and I was talking to an army recruiter and he you know he would tell me all the different benefits about the military and I was like okay okay that sounded pretty good man you know got me to come to the office I took a practice test did terrible on that I, I made Bruh. 11 the first time <laughs> like it's been that long since I said like any kind of school material like that from math the word knowledge oh my god I did not know what to do with the word knowledge um, science I was looking at that like what in the world is this but I was like I'm determined to pass this test at this point so I came back in two weeks later and I retook it. <laughs> I made a 17 that time. I was like, okay, we're making a little bit of progress or whatever here. But for the most part, I was like, I'm going to, I'm determined to pass this freaking test. So the next time, the third time I came in his office and took it, I made a 31. And he was like, okay, that's good. You know what I'm saying? We can go ahead and schedule for the ASVAB. I'm like, dang, already? Already taking the ASVAB? So I'm like, okay, let's do it. So I have two weeks to prepare for it and I'm taking it, yada, yada, yada. I'm looking at it, I'm like, stuff looks familiar. I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I get up and I get my score sheet. It's a 27. Oh. I was like, dang. So after that, he was like, it's no biggie. You know, we can wait 30 days. You know, you retake it again or whatever. I said, okay, that's cool. You know, took, gave me some more time to study. A month passes, I think it was too soon myself, I'm not going to lie, because I'm like, I was still having trouble with math, especially, especially word knowledge, that was like one of my biggest, biggest problems when it came to this ASVAB was that, so, you know what I'm saying, I retook that or whatever, did all that, and then once I did that, he scheduled me for it again, went back again, retook it, I actually did better this time than I did the first time, I actually got the qualifying score which was a 31. I was like yeah that's good but he was like you know you still gotta <laughs> you didn't qualify for any jobs buddy so I'm just like I'm just like at this point I'm like man I'm giving up so I took two years off of the ASVAB and I just stuck to school but once I finished school I was like I still want to join so that got the that recruiter gave up on me and I went to another recruiter and she was very helpful. That's another army recruit. And um, you know, she was like telling me, like, you know, I just told her I graduated, uh, I have this going on and this going on, you know, I just want to better myself for that. So she was like, okay. Uh, have you ever taken asthma before? I was like, the most dreaded question in the world. I was like, I was not ready. I was like, yes, I took it before, but it, it's been a long time. She was like, okay, that's fine. We can go ahead and take, give you the same exact practice test that you took before. I'm like, bruh, oh God, oh my God, I took it. Um, I didn't do as bad as I did the first time. I got a 14 this time, guys. 14, that's pretty good in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> really, but uh, but yeah, we did that, and then. I was like, yeah, I have to get my stuff together now. So this is what I did for the third time. I actually, I got a tutor and I went on a 
college, they're called ASVAB Tutoring. Um, they helped me with, with, with a lot of stuff when it came to math. And there was stuff that I didn't, even, I didn't even learn in high school that they actually taught me. I learned words that were going to be on the test, science terminology, all that stuff. And I did pretty good. So when I go take the test, I made a 61. That was the highest I ever got in this system. But for the most part, with my studying, when I was studying, I did, in fact, use both these. These, these are the exact years that I actually took it to 2018 and 2019. And those were the worst years ever. But the next year, in 2020, I actually passed. So that, I could say that's the good, the best thing about it as, as far as that goes. So, you know, when it comes to taking this test, y'all need to just, y'all need to stay determined. Y'all can do this, I promise you. Y'all can do this. This test is a mind game. A few minutes later. All right, YouTube, with all that being said, be that like, that comment, y'all subscribe, turn on that post notifications bell. This was just like a little, just something I want to give to y'all. A little story time of my experience on taking the ASVAB. I didn't want to go into depth on what the ASVAB was, you know, what all this is. I just wanted to give y'all a little story time of what I witnessed taking this drastic exam. So just make sure y'all do that for me. Hey, sign me up about this thing. Sign in, he worked, you sweat, he worked, you sweat, he worked, you sweat.